So it's been quite some time. And honestly, from the YouTube title and thumbnail, you guys are probably like, what the heck, Garrett? Well, it happened. I contracted COVID-19, and this right now that you see is day 13 of me having COVID-19. Now, I wanted to make this video because there's been a lot of fear that has gone into COVID-19, and I want to share my experience with the virus that is a serious thing. My experience was a mild one, yet I did have a lot of complications and things I ran into throughout the process and still on my day 13 adventures. Now, there are serious problems that people have run into with COVID-19, and my experience may not be your experience. So please do not take what happened with me, with my experience with COVID-19, as something that you'll go through as well. And don't run the risk, the unnecessary risk, if you don't need to or have to. I'll be doing my best to answer any questions in the comment section to help you guys get a better understanding of what my experience was. And again, this is not to take away from anyone who has had serious experiences with COVID-19 or are still having lasting symptoms because those are very big possibilities. So without further ado, let's get into it. Big thanks for all the support recently across all the YouTube channels and on the streams. And uh, if you guys want to follow me on more stuff, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Stay up to date with everything I'm doing. And uh, without further ado, Let's get into it. This day, I get tested for COVID-19, boys. So here's the thing. Either I have COVID-19 or I have some kind of flu-like cold. We're gonna see, we're gonna get tested. The results turnaround time is about an hour long. And this started about a day ago. I woke up in the morning and just felt like absolute trash. I was going out and stuff and going to dinners and you know going to the gym, so. It is what it is, but luckily I live alone, and since I got sick, I haven't left my house, so. We're about to find out what, what's going on. Let's, let's figure it out. Oh, man, here it goes. I'm gonna stick a thing in my nose. Oh, baby. Is it? So that was that, they did that. Oh my God, that felt so weird. <laughs> that felt so strange. That did not feel like I'm crying, you see this? I got a notification on my phone. Whether I am positive or negative. Man, that was weird though, so. Ugh. So, it's now been two days since I started feeling pretty ill. After my test, I got home, took a nap, and uh, I woke up to the results of my COVID test and they came back positive. You know, this is the first few hours or I guess days of, you know, being COVID positive um, where I'm feeling, you know, congestion and I'm tired. So when I got home around three o'clock, I ended up sleeping from three to like eight-ish. I still have my taste, I still have my smell and I'm gonna document this whole process for you guys and with you guys. It should, it's gonna be interesting. So we'll see how this all goes. So it's uh, like 4 a.m. Just checked my temperature. I now have 101 fever. Uh, every day my body temperature has been increasing like a degree or two. So on Monday, it was 97, 98. Then uh, Tuesday, it was 99. Now it's Wednesday and it's uh, 101.4. So every day I've been seeing my my temperature going up. It's just, it's just I'm strapping in. I think it's gonna be getting worse these next few days. I haven't hit the, the top yet. So I just have a small fever. I can feel it. It gets pretty hot. And um, my symptoms are super mild so far. So hopefully they stay that way. Now the third day, I think, being positive. It's 10 a.m. Wednesday, and it's just getting worse. One thing that's been really helping me though has been drinking a ton of water. When I drink water, I just feel so much better. Eating has been a little hard. I bought a bunch of chicken broth. I sort of still have taste, but not really. It's like almost all gone. I also don't know if I can smell anything yet. I haven't really tried, but man, this sucks. 
This is not fun. Not fun at all. Ended up taking a shower. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel like more refreshed. So I'm gonna go over with you guys what I've been doing to get better. Ibuprofen's been helping a lot. I've also been taking um, vitamin packs. So like I bought this, it's, it's um, from First Form. It's a nutrients pack and it literally has like all your daily vitamins and antioxidants and multivitamins, probiotics and everything in it. In the last three days I've been taking like all these pills in one go. I've also been taking these bad boys. So this is like, it's a dietary supplement from like vegetables and fruits and I've been feeling great. So yesterday I broke into a fever of 103. I think I mentioned this already where today my body temperature is now back at 97. I'm still a little congested, but here's the thing. I had gotten dinner on Saturday with my cousin, her husband and her friend. And on Saturday night, going into Sunday, 1, 1 a.m., I had tweeted like, oh, this is the best I've ever felt. And this is the tweet I'd put. This is what it looked like right here. You guys see this tweet? My pink shirt, I was, I felt great. Sunday morning-ish, like mainly Sunday night, Monday morning, I started feeling like, whoa, this is, I don't feel very well. They all got tested and they all came back negative. But they were with me the whole time. I hope it stays this good because right now I feel a lot better than I did 24 hours ago. On top of that, I went out, I didn't go out, sorry. <laughs> I had Amazon Prime deliver some stuff. I did not go out, I did not go out. You guys, look, this is, look, this is my stockpile. They just drop it off of my door. Uh, but here's what I'm, I'm struggling with. I don't know, like now that I have COVID-19, right? How do I get rid of all my trash that, eh, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to just wait, it. I don't know. So, quick update. I went to sleep, I, I've been sleeping a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot. During this whole COVID cycle, two things I wanted to do a lot was rest and um, also just drink a lot of water. I've been drinking probably a gallon of water every single day. So I went to sleep yesterday, Wednesday, 5 p.m. I woke up today, Thursday, at 1 p.m. I slept 20 hours. But <laughs> this whole experience has been very interesting because my experience with COVID is probably going to be different if, than yours if you get it. I think the hard part is behind me at this point. You know, I think there, were, there could have been some really scary nights. I'm going to make some breakfast now um, and I'll show you guys what I eat in the mornings. Well, whenever I wake up. So let's go do that. Oh man. So I was just telling you guys how things are going so well and whatever, whatever. And guess what? Your boy just lost all sense of smell. I can no longer smell anything. My friend Stan was like, hey, uh, do you still have your sense of taste? And so I was like, yeah. And then I went to go try to see if I still have a sense of smell. Nothing. Nothing I smell smells like anything. Uh, let's see if I can taste anything. Let's give it a shot. This is a vanilla cake batter protein drink that I've been drinking like every day. No! <laughs> no way. Blueberry. I can taste the blueberry. It's good. My breakfast this morning it's a little weird. I was doing keto before, so I just have like dietary supplements of like sugars or um, fruits and stuff. So now on COVID, this is my <laughs> this is what my meals sort of look like plus regular food. So this is avocado, banana, blueberries, and then a whole red pepper. They're probably wondering Garrett why. Listen, I don't know. Okay, I was told that more antioxidants are good for you. Thus, we've been eating more antioxidants. I don't know if this has been helping, but it's definitely not been hurting, so yeah. Currently on day five of the coronavirus, and um, how do I feel day five? Day five has been my best feeling day, which according to reports is like that's normal. So day five is supposed to be your best feeling day. Uh, on average, between four, day four and day six is like your best feeling day, and then you're supposed to experience another crash 
um, between day six and day 10. I think by tomorrow I should be able to get back to recording videos. I almost sound better. I've been eating great, uh, focusing on fruits, uh, chicken broth, warm meals, restricting dairy intake, uh, and also restricting meat intake. For some reason, people were saying that uh, meat is an inhibitor of coronavirus, so I tried eliminating most meats out of my diet, which is the contrary to what I used to do, as I was a keto-based diet plan where I was eating mainly uh, meat-enriched foods. So yeah, that's where I'm at. So, so far, so good. Day six of the coronavirus. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm back in my office. Um, today was the day I woke up. I was feeling a lot better, a lot better. And I wanted to take today to get back into recording some videos because today was the last day I had videos recorded for. Um, and I'm also feeling a lot really blessed and grateful and appreciative and man, this could have been really bad. This could have been really bad. And luckily, it wasn't. Day seven of coronavirus. Uh, I feel a lot better, but in doing so, I also got back to recording videos and today I'm shaving my face. Sounds crazy, but yeah. Still a little congested overall. Day seven, I'm getting better. Still no taste, still no smell, but we're shaving my face today. It's one side. My God. Oh my gosh. I don't look too bad like this. I mean, like it looks a little weird here, but. Hey, look at me. <laughs> it's happening. Oh my gosh, this is terrifying. mustache <laughs> so today is December 2nd I have had COVID for quite some time I have pretty much recovered from it I'm still a little congested but I no longer have a cough I have taste but I don't have all my sense of smell back so I'm still missing my sense of smell probably wondering Garrett why are you in your car today we're getting tested again uh, because I want to start going back to the gym and living my life back to somewhat normal and seeing my family. And I want to go do things that I was not doing for the last three weeks. We're doing double rapid tests, so double nose swabs, um, just to ensure 100% that we are not still positive and we are good to go. Here's the thing. I am still messed up. I am still always exhausted. I can barely record videos on a daily basis. With that said, I also sometimes have a little bit of trouble breathing. Taking deep breaths is hard for me. I'm still in week three. I'll keep you guys up to date with everything going on in the future. But regardless, we're getting tested. Let's see what the results are. The other side. Oh God, that's miserable. Oh, no. that's oh. thank you. It's a new day, it's the next day after I got tested. I ended up getting home, going to sleep around 5 p.m., woke up this morning at 8 a.m., recorded some videos, and I realized I got my notification for my test results, and they came back this, negative. That's right, dude. So I'm pretty pumped, I'm pretty excited. I am still feeling aftershocks of being sick. I don't have the same energy levels. I was recently just sick, and I'm hoping this is just a phase. The phase of me having it was super easy, it was very mild, but afterwards, me recovering from it has been really weird. So don't put yourself in a position to catch it. I love you guys. Follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff, Facebook, all of it. Just go. Love you guys. I'll see you when I see you. I post every day on other channels, just not this one. It's sort of dead. Bye, guys.